Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 8, chapter 3, Understanding Quadrilaterals, exercise 3.3. See now question number 1. Given a parallelogram A, B, C, D, complete each statement along with the definition or property used. See now first one they have given AD equals to AD is equal to BC. Why? Because opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. See second one angle DCB is equal to angle DAB. Since opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. Next OC is equal to OA. Why? Because diagonals of a parallelogram are equal. See now fourth one angle DAB. Plus angle CDA that equals to 180 degrees. Why? Because interior opposite angles. Since AB is parallel to CD, we can say angle DAB plus angle CDA. Both are equal to 180 degrees. See now question number 2. Consider the following parallelograms. Find the values of the unknown x, y and z. See now question number A. Observe this parallelogram A, B, C, D. Angle A means z. Angle B means 100. Angle C given as x and angle D is equal to y. Now we have to find x, y and z angles. See now angle y is equal to 100 degrees. Why? Because opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. Next, x plus 100 is equal to 180 degrees. x plus 100 degrees that equals to 180 degrees. Why? Because sum of adjacent angles of a parallelogram is equal to 180 degrees. So, x equal to plus 100 on transpose it is minus 100. So, 180 degrees minus 100. Therefore, x equal to 180 minus 100 it is 80 degrees. So, here x value is 80 degrees. Next, x equal to z. That equals to 80 degrees. Why? Because opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. Therefore, x value is 80 degrees, y value is 100 degrees and z value is 80 degrees. See now second question B sum. Here they have given a parallelogram. We need to find x, y and z value. They have given one of the angle as 50 degrees. See now 50 degrees plus x that equals to 180 degrees. Why? Because sum of adjacent angles of a parallelogram is equal to 180 degrees. Now we shall find here x value. So x equal to 180 degrees plus 50 on transposing it is minus 50. So x equal to 180 minus 50. Therefore x equal to 180 minus 50 is 130. Therefore x value is 130 degrees. See now x is equal to y. That equals to 130 degrees. Why? Because opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. See next x equal to z. Why? Because corresponding angles are equal. Therefore x equal to z that equals to 130 degrees. Therefore x value is 130 degrees. Y value is 130 degrees. And z value is 130 degrees. See now second question. See some observe this parallelogram. They have given here x, y and 30 degrees in this part and this is 90 degrees that is right angle and here z value they have given. Now we need to find x, y and z. Observe this part here x is equal to 90 degrees. Why? Because these both are vertically opposite angles. Next observe this triangle x plus y plus 30 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because angles and property of a triangle that is Sum of angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, x plus y plus 30 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Let us substitute x value 90 degrees in this. So, 90 degrees plus y plus 30 degrees that equals to 180. That implies y equals to 90 plus 30, 120. Plus 120 on transposing it is minus 120. Therefore, y equals to 180 degrees minus 120. Therefore, y equals to 180 minus 120 that is 60 degrees. Therefore, y value is 60 degrees. Here, angle y and angle z both are equal. Why? Because alternate angles are equal. Therefore, y equals to z equal to 60 degrees. Therefore, we got here x value 90 degrees, y value 60 degrees and z value 60 degrees. 
See now second question. D sum. Observe this parallelogram. Here they have given x, y and z. Here one of the angle is 80 degrees. We need to find x, y and z angles. See here z is equal to 80 degrees. Why? Because these both are corresponding angles. Next z and y are equal. Why? Because alternate angles are equal. So z equals to y equals to 80 degrees. Next, x plus y is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because sum of adjacent angles are equals to 180 degrees. So, x plus y equals 180 degrees. Substitute y value as 80. So, x plus 80 equals to 180. Next, x equal to 180 minus plus 80 on transposing it is minus 80. So, x equal to 180 minus 80, 100 degrees. Therefore, x equal to 100 degrees. So we got here x value 100 degrees, y value 80 degrees and z value is 80 degrees. See now second question is um, from the figure y is equal to 112 degrees. Why? Because opposite angles are equal. Observe this triangle x plus y plus 40 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Because angles and property of a triangle that is sum of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Now we shall substitute y value equals to 112 degrees. So x plus 112 plus 40 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. That implies x plus 112 plus 40 that is 152 degrees. So x plus 152 is 180 degrees. That implies x equal to 180 degrees plus 152 on transposing it is minus 152 degrees. So 180 minus 152 that is 28 degrees. Therefore x value is 28 degrees. See here z is equal to x. Why? Because alternate interior angles are equal. So z equals to x that equals to 28 degrees. Therefore x value 28 degrees, y value 112 degrees and z value is 28 degrees. Today we have seen class 8 chapter 3 exercise 3.3 1 2 sums. In our next video we shall see remaining sums of this exercise. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.